I play a, a woman named Kim who uh, is working as a, a cable news producer and gets the opportunity to go become an on-camera reporter in Afghanistan at a time when her network is very short-handed abroad. And she goes thinking she's going to be there for three months and ends up staying there for three years. Three insane, hard partying years. <laughs> I'm, uh, I play Tanya, who's uh, also a war correspondent already in Afghanistan when Kim comes over and uh, she kind of takes Kim under her wing um, and, and then they become friends and she's pretty impressed with Kim and, um, you know, they, they have a bit of healthy rivalry and by the end um, it's starting to look a little unhealthy. And, <laughs> it becomes and, less healthy. Yeah, 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 and then she's kind of like, I don't want to be like you. I have so much admiration for Kim because we pretended to do things that Kim really did, you mm -hmm. know, go into a dangerous area and interview a warlord, put on a full burqa to make her way safely into the streets of, of Kandahar and to, to get stories that she wouldn't have had access to. Um, so it was pretty cool to just even get to meet her and, and to have her book as a source for, for this movie. Um, she's pretty badass. I think I would be a real good domestic reporter covering like I think I'd be good I think I have the partying side of it done. <laughs> I could do that really well um it, it, I can't even imagine what it would be like it's easy to sit on this side of things and be like sure I'd give it a shot um but who knows how it would actually be in reality it, it's yeah not something I don't think we can fathom I have a lot of favorite scenes in the movie um one of my favorite scenes in the movie is the scene that I have with Chris Abbott, where Chris Abbott is really doing all the, the work in the scene where he, 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 he quits. He works with me as a translator and a fixer, and um, he feels that my character is starting to get reckless and put him in situations that are too dangerous, and he gives this beautiful speech about <clears throat> the nature of uh, war reporting and people getting addicted to adrenaline, and he's just so, so good in that mm -hmm. scene. It's funny you say that because uh, my favorite scene is with Chris Abbott in it as well. Um, and he it, it's when he takes you to the airport at oh, the yeah. end. And it's just a really beautifully genuine moment where it's so rare that you just see an actual genuine male and female friendship on screen where there are no ulterior motives. Yeah. Um, it, it comes across as really, really honest and beautiful to me. I really got, I got ulterior out of that moment. Um, <laughs> and my other favorite scene, my favorite scene to shoot would have been when we were in the karaoke bar and uh. Martin, Martin had to, <laughs> oh, actually, no, when we were, when we were all doing the karaoke, do you remember yes. like in the, in the, yeah. the other room and we were all like meant to be like, you know, sloppy drunk, like wasted, but it's 10 AM and we're sober <laughs> yeah. and we're like, you know, trying to do karaoke badly, which, it sounded bad anyway, but it was just so ridiculous to be like pretending to be that drunk. Three in the morning, drunk. ten in the morning. Yeah. I hope they will laugh. I do think the movie's funny. I hope they will um, uh, be um, moved by the beauty of that location, even though we faked it, and the kind of. Uh, the humanness of the story that it, that the, that in spite of its extreme location that it's a relatable story hopefully of someone wanting to take a risk in their life and change their life uh, and um, also that every character in the story is kind of I, I mean I keep thinking of Billy Bob's character which is like in terms of the politics of the movie that just you know the Billy Bob plays a, a, a colonel who by the end of the movie is a general and it's just the best intentions of, try, of trying to be helpful in Afghanistan and that it's just an untamable, mm. uh, kind of unknowable place that yeah. changes all these people's lives.